Let's go on to our second example. So this one says, Old Navy tracks how many customers come in their store throughout the day. Below is how many customers shopped on a Tuesday during the week. Set up a table with the correct column titles and then insert a bar graph or line graph. All right, so our first column title, if we're looking at our data here, might be time of day, and our second would be number of customers. And I'm just going to use my wrap tool here to make those show up nicely. So our first time of day is 10 to 12, we had 35 customers. Then 12 to 2, we had 22 customers. 2 to 4, we had 8 customers. 4 to 6, we had 68 customers. And 6 to 8, looks like on that second row, the number is 52. So again, to insert that chart, I'm just going to highlight my table. And I can come here to insert chart. Right away, it's going to recommend a type of graph for me. I think this time I'm going to choose a line graph because line graphs show uh, data over time really well. So I'm going to stick with the line graph. I'm going to go over to my customize because there's a few things I don't want. I want to change my title. Number of customers at Old Navy on a Tuesday. Um, what else? Legend. Again, I don't feel like I need a legend. The rest of this looks good. My labels look good. My horizontal looks good. My vertical looks good. I might shrink the size of my time labels. That looks a little better. Um, I might change the thickness of my line. And I might change my point size. Right now I can't see any of the circles on my line graph. So I might change those to show up a little better. And I can even change the type of point I have. I like the circles. And everything looks pretty good to me. So I'm just going to insert my chart. Shrink it a little bit. And there we go. So looking at our graphs, if for some reason we might notice something that we don't really like or it doesn't look good, I can always go to this little drop down box here and go to advanced edit. And that takes me right back in to change anything I might want to change. So that's a little peek into how you would insert graphs into Google Sheets.